guys, welcome back to BMW Fanatic. In this video, I'm going to show you the DIY on how to change out the most critical BMW N54 vacuum line hose on the car today, and that's going to be your main ones that run across your valve cover. So they connect on the vacuum pump side underneath the intake manifold, and they connect over to the vacuum canisters on the other side. Now, this is the most critical one just because of these like to deteriorate along the oil filter housing because of just the heat. And then these tubes like to break too. Also, when they kind of bend down and then up, they can also have some wear there as well. Now, one thing to know is I changed out the valve cover on my N54, so I have that DIY and I'll post it up here at the top. The reason why I want to mention that is because I moved these out of the way, meaning I had to bend these out of the way. So with mine being original on the car and the movement that I had to do with them to get them out of the way, this is going to be a great procedure to go ahead and change these out. Now I know since mine has 156,000 miles and they are originals, so the original ones that I have on my car, I know that they're not going to be able to come off the vacuum tube that runs off of the vacuum pump. So I went ahead and ordered that one as well. So this is going to connect to the vacuum pump down underneath the intake manifold. And then this is where these two main lines are going to connect right off of here. They like to break. This likes to break if you try to pull them off or cut them off. Uh, or just the hoses are just so stuck on there, you, you risk ruining this just to be able to change your lines and then you can't drive anywhere because then you have no vacuum pressure because uh, this feeds your vacuum canisters which feeds you know, to your blue solenoids. So it's a critical path uh, to be able to make sure to replace it. So that's the reason why I'm doing this one. Uh, it's not gonna hurt at all and it's gonna make for the installation much, much easier. So let's go ahead, head over to the engine bay. Let's go ahead and swap these in. All right, first things first, we're going to remove the cowl assembly. You're gonna take an eight millimeter, three eighths drive, long extension, just so you can get all the way in the back. And then just a few clips uh, to take that off. Next, we're gonna go ahead and remove the washer line from the cow. So you're just gonna pull up right here. Next, we're gonna move both boxes. There's one here and there's one over there. Just pull back on this tab. There's a little clip right here. And there's a clip back here. Pull it out like that. You're gonna pull off your sensor. Twist it until it comes out. You can just go ahead and route this and put this right over here. Same process as before. Move the tab here, here as well. If you have the BMW alarm, you'll need to remove that. Good snake it over here, put it right there. Same exact process as the other side. Tab in the back, tab in the front, pull right out. So two simple eight millimeter bolts, one right here and one on exactly on the other side. Eight millimeter right here. Next to remove the wiring from the cow, you're gonna take a flathead screwdriver now you're just gonna pry in here to help pry it out. Sometimes it can just go and come right out, just like so. These clips right here, you're just gonna take the fly head. One, two, three. This will help you release the wiring from the cow. That way you can pull it all out. Take that hex five, loosen those up. Now 
Now we're ready to remove the entire engine cover. All you have to do, if you once you get your two in the back done and taking those out, all easy to get to by the way. You're gonna lift up and then out. All right, with the cow removed and the cover removed, I could show you a little bit more closely as far as why these become a problem. So this is where you see it teasing at right here. See all the the wear, and it's just because of just sitting against oil filter housing, it just gets hot. So they come around, they come down, down below, and then they go to the bottom of the vacuum canisters. To get to room on the bottom of the vacuum pump, I'm gonna take out my front DCI here. Pop that out. So there's the vacuum pump right there. So it's just a quick tab, pushing the tabs there, pop it out, this will get this one out of the way so that way we can work on this one. You want to continue working on it and keep pushing in on the sides and then it's going to release the tab so that way you can release the vacuum tube from the pump. All right, little bit of a pain, but uh, I was able to get it off. So all I had to do uh, was I slit, so basically I just cut one of the ends of it off. Go ahead and pull it on out here. I cut one of the ends off because it's a push tab. Like this. So see, I just did this. I just cut this one so that way I can just take a flathead and pop it off. It gets down in there pretty good. Oh, dang. Well, I have slits all on this. Next, we're gonna go ahead and pull out our vacuum canister so that way we can undo all the lines and pull all that stuff out. So it's just gonna be a 10 millimeter right there. There's a 10 millimeter down below, but I already had and took that out. All you just need is a long extension uh, and to pull the 10 millimeter nut out. I just do it because it sits on the post there and it, it's not gonna come out and it makes it for easy removal. So 10 millimeter. Now you want to go ahead and remove the vacuum lines from the top. Just pull those right off. I'm just, we're just going to get those out of the way. And then all you have to do is pull up. And then as you can see here, we're going to go ahead and pull them from underneath. So there's vacuum lines that attach to it. straight down on both of them and the vacuum canisters will come out and as you can tell mine were definitely need to replace another thing I don't know if this is see how this thing bends really easy right there so I don't know if it slid a little bit it has too much movement this one looks pretty decent but we're gonna undo these right here they just slide in the valve cover Slide right through, just so we can pop them out. Now since we're completely replacing them, we're gonna go ahead and cut the line, so that way we can pull all this out. All right, so we're just gonna cut them right here, because there's no way I can fish all that through, up through there, because it goes underneath the fuel rail. So we're just gonna take some normal scissors and cut them off. This is your piece right here that I'm showing you. Oh. All those slits that I had there. Yeah, that's definitely not good. This is hard plastic. And looks like I had some slits right there too. This is how they get so just brittle. They just they just break. These get really bad. With that out of the way, now we can pull these on through. There we go. Here's the ones that were next to oil filter housing just like what you saw over there they get 
are really bad. They just get all torn apart. And this, my first one here, I don't see any breaks in the plastic. This one looks pretty decent, but this one's really worn. Now, we're gonna take our new lines, brand new, and we're gonna run these up and under. So I'm gonna get these up and under right here. This is what it's gonna look like. So there's these little tap things. You push them so they slide down in here. We have our new lines that run over on this side right here. Our vacuum pump is gonna go right there. Now we want to be able to run these through. Just gonna run these underneath. Blue one's gonna be on the far side. All right, now time to put the vacuum canisters back on. I'm gonna take our blue one here, uh, which is the far one because it's gotta reach the furthest. Go ahead and connect that. Make sure you push it all the way in. Now we're gonna do the other one. This one's the close one. Sure, that's all in. Slide it down on here. Go. Don't you know that's good? Go ahead and add that 10 millimeter back on. Once you have that done. Then we're gonna take our vacuum lines from the boost solenoids. Go ahead and put these on. Now these are looking really good. I don't see any breaks in them, cracks in them or anything. So I'm gonna keep them as is for right now. But just make sure those are all firmly attached again. So we're just gonna go ahead and go ahead and push these in. Careful not to break these. Connect the other side. Okay, now we're gonna fish down to the pump down there. Wait for the snap. There we go. Let's go ahead and put the DCI back in, the other one. Slide it back down in here. Go ahead and tighten, make sure it's tight. I'm going to reconnect to the vacuum pump. All right, guys, there you have it. The DIY on how to replace the most critical vacuum line on your BMW N54. It's critical because it runs across the valve cover, of course, and it literally sits next to that hot oil filter housing, which will deteriorate your vacuum lines. Also, what you notice is that I have slits in my vacuum tube, which all run right up through there. As you can see, you know, even down there, just the heat deteriorates it away. On the vacuum side, meaning the vacuum canister side, just really bendable, so there, I'm sure it's slit somewhere in there. And then that connects right here because I had to cut it off so that way you can see it just all torn up. 
Mine were original, so I knew that this wasn't gonna come off and I'm really glad that I replaced this. So everything was from scpeuro.com, so you get that lifetime replacement guarantee. All of my parts are from SCP Euro, just because of once these fail out or they break or, you know, because it's gonna happen again, I'm covered, right? I'll buy the new set, so then I'll be able to send back the old stuff and then get my refund back. So that works with everything on their website, including oil, so it makes it nice. A lot of people don't realize that, is that everything that they sell on their website, wiper blades, oil, fluid, you can't go wrong. The maintenance on a BMW N54 is expensive, really actually any BMW, so that's brake pads, brake rotors, anything. So everything will be in the description box below, so that way you guys can have all that information. Please be sure to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll check you on the next DIY. See ya.